The Cascadian subduction zone is a long sloping fault line where the Juan de Fuca plate pushes underneath the North American plate. A major earthquake along this fault line of magnitude 8 or 9 is very possible in the next 50 years. How are plans developed to cope with such an unpredictable threat? And who is ready to respond to these events and what systems will they use to protect lives and property? The general public can now be called upon more than ever to gather information through social media. Let's see some effects in an urban setting and how everyone can help using a tool called Ushaidi. So social media is a new and ubiquitous set of tools that can generate information from everybody and we can make that available for emergency managers. Um, Facebook, Twitter and smart mobile phones with cameras and global positioning systems in them can capture information and we're finding that arriving on lots of different websites. What we did in the experiment is we took that information from a particular tool called Ushahidi, which is a crowdsourcing application that's been used in a number of the major earthquakes that have happened in uh, the last year or so. And we were able to pull that information from that system using the 311 um, contact center team who were able to process it, decide what's important, and push the relevant information into the more formal emergency management system, which for the city of Vancouver was uh, E-Team. Uh, the George Viaduct street collapsed and people are reporting about the couple of cars trapped, uh, numerous people trapped in there, and that the urban search and rescue team is, is on site now, I guess? Great, I just received confirmation of that from the fire rep. I'll have to send up an incident report. And then once that information is in E-Team, then that information can be shown, including the pictures, up on the map in BC Map. Uh, BC Map was uh, put together uh, for Emergency Management BC by Esri Canada. In the event of an emergency, information is coming from various sources. So having uh, a system that, that allows you to see geospatially, and, and that's being through a map, where things are happening, where events are happening, uh, provides the ability for emergency management to be more efficient at what they do. Ushihidi is a, a computer server program developed by a team of volunteers. It's really an interesting kind of global effort of computer programmers around the world that want to uh, provide assistance to uh, communities and regions. Uh, at Simon Fraser University, and we developed a project team around looking at uh, how to use Ushihidi under different circumstances. So the students uh, did a, a hazard risk and vulnerability study to see how it would be used as a planning tool for emergency managers. So they kind of took on that role. Through using different types of interfaces, you can uh, connect to the server and upload information. On the website, you can click on submit a report, add the location on the map, Add your description and click submit. One way for the general public to help during an emergency is by using their Blackberry or their iPhone by taking pictures or videos and uploading it to the Ushahidi website. The public create reports using email or SMS or the internet in Ushahidi. The City of Vancouver 311 Contact Centre reviews these reports and those of interest that might need attention are then entered in the City's Incident Management System E-Team. The Emergency Operations staff then have that information and if a response is needed from the City, this is converted to an incident report and is then available on the maps visible at the Provincial Operations Centres. In this experiment, we proved that it's operationally valid for the 311 contact centre team to be the masters of gathering information from the public, looking at sites like Ushahidi or Facebook or Twitter. And they make sense of it, corroborate the reports, make sure that they're, um, they're valid, and then enter that information into the city's uh, e-team system. And what we will be recommending going forward is that then perhaps will be automated interfaces from those systems so that their job is made easier, they don't have to rekey anything. And so all of a sudden you're able to tap 
wide variety of sources of, of information who are really going through the experience of a major earthquake. And also now the challenge is to develop policy about how those sites are advertised to the public, how the media is used to let people know they're there and where they should put information that may be useful to the emergency managers. I think that's one of the biggest new things that we've used. We're able to integrate that, that massive amount of information that the public has and crowdsource that through Ushahidi and then be able to feed that into our operational systems like E-Team and Emergio and other systems that we use on a day-to-day -day basis or more regularly in the Emergency Operations Centre. Uh, and also what kind of information might be pushed back out to the public through the same vehicle. So if the site is there, we're going to let the public know where the emergency reception centres are and anything else that may be of use to the public.